My name is Megan. I'm with the Nature Conservancy in the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program. I'm here today on a Lake George Land Conservancy preserve. And the Lake George Land Conservancy and the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program have a partnership. And together we've helped deal with a lot of different invasive species. Today we're going to talk about the gypsy moth caterpillars, which were a big problem in the summer of 2021. Uh, these caterpillars are non-native to the area and they don't have any natural predators. And every 20 or so years, they um, have big outbreaks and can cause a lot of defoliation in our forests. So today uh, we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can help. And this video is to show you how to set up a burlap band trap for gypsy moth caterpillars. So you're going to need a big, large piece of burlap and some twine to tie it. I've already tied it onto the tree. The burlap should be at least um, two to three feet wide. Um, and then you could use sort of any kind of string to tie it to the tree and make sure it goes all the way around the tree. Uh, and then you're going to want to tie the twine right in the middle. And then what you could do after you've tied it is to just fold it over in half and create sort of a skirt um, and the best time to set a burlap band trap is in early to mid July um, when the caterpillars are about an inch in length and the reason for that is during this period of their lifespan they go down the tree during the day to escape heat and predators and this burlap trap um, creates a perfect sort of refuge for the caterpillars to crawl up in to get away from the sun um, but it's really important that if you set this kind of trap, you check it uh, at least um, every other day, ideally every day, because you're creating a really good refuge for these caterpillars. Um, and if you don't check it frequently, then the population numbers can kind of get out of hand. Um, so to check it, you just sort of unroll the burlap and then you can just remove the caterpillars. Um, you obviously want to use some kind of tool to remove the caterpillars or gloves um, because the hairs on the caterpillars can be irritating to your skin. Um, then once you collect the caterpillars, you can just put them in a bucket with some soapy water uh, and let it sit for a day and then dispose of the caterpillars.